Welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can call your Go High Level leads using an AI voice agent. What is this AI voice agent? Basically, it's an AI that can call a phone number using a real phone number and talk on the phone with your prospects like a real human being and book them into appointment and do whatever you want. Like you can create a personal AI voice assistant as well using this software that I'm going to show you with its integration with go high level but yeah the possibilities are endless but in this video we are only going to focus on creating an outbound ai agent that follow ups with your leads that are inside your go high level crm whether they came from facebook ad or you just put a list inside of your crm now the softwares you are going to need is first go high level or i like to use my version of go high level which has all the automation templates and all the integration and like just vast number of custom things to make sure that any kind of AI agent works properly with this go high level and yeah that's pretty much it and the second software is obviously going to be retail AI where we are going to create the AI voice agent so basically in a nutshell we are going to create an AI voice agent inside retail and then connect it to go high level v workflow so that go high level can use this AI agent from this particular platform retail AI and make phone calls to the leads that are inside of go high level I know this sounds a bit complicated so I will also give you an overview of this entire follow-up system using this AI agent. So let's say a lead opt into your Facebook ad and then it comes into go high level, right? Via the integration of Facebook and go high level. Then via this workflow that we are going to create, go high level will send that data to this AI phone agent and this AI phone agent will make the outbound phone call to these leads. If they pick up, it will make the pitch. If they don't pick up, we actually like to follow up with them 15 times throughout the span of 21 days. And if they do pick up, the AI agent makes the pitch. It tries to book an appointment with them, try to ask like, I saw that you clicked on our ad. What happened? Would you like to book an appointment? Are there any questions you, that you have? If they say they are not interested, like a lot of time this happens when you run Facebook ads and stuff like that, that the lead that opted into your Facebook ad, they might not be interested anymore. or They just click there for no reason. I don't know. But anyway, we then add them to nurturing sequence. And if they like say, okay, uh, we are interested in booking an appointment. Again, we book an appointment with them. If they say they are not interested, again, the same thing. We add them to the nurturing sequence. If after 21 days, they don't pick up the call, again, we add them to the nurturing sequence. And that's pretty much it. This rigorous follow-up system actually allow us to reach to the lead and come to a conclusion whether they are interested or not. And so that we don't waste our time on just following up with them. And we can actually get an answer from them. So let's actually start building this. So first, we are going to head over to retail AI dot com here you will find a dashboard that will look something similar you won't have all these agents i link all these platforms in the description and by the way once you create an account on retail ai you will actually get ten dollars worth of free credit so it would be more than enough to create your first ai agent so here you can just click on create ai agent and then you will click on single prompt agent so this is the particular agent that I'm using for my own agency and I will link this in the description in a format of JSON. So what I mean by that is in that format, you would just be able to import the entire agent without you having to do everything manually. So the way you would do it is you will just click on import and you will click here and you will download this agent's particular file that I'll provide in the description of this video. Let me just export it as well. So as you can see, I have exported this file and if I import it, and do like this i will have the same agent right here so uh, that i can just go ahead inside and edit it so yeah don't worry i'll just provide it but anyway if you click on this and create an agent you will see something like this and then you prompt it so the way i prompt it is i have created an ai agent that generates prompt for this ai voice agent so yeah a bit of a trick right there so here if i type out a prompt it will just give me a prompt for this AI voice agent and this is available inside my community by the way so from there I have opened this and give me one second I'll just prompt it and get back to you guys so here how the prompt is looking like generate a prompt for an AI outbound voice agent for an AI agency named as OriginX AI to follow up with the leads that have opted into Facebook ad campaign of OriginX AI OriginX AI provides AI agent solution for local and online businesses stream the CX and SDR and other backend processes using AI voice agents and AI agents Increasing these businesses profit margin and saving ton on hiring employee. The format should be marked down. So generate. This is just to show you. I will provide the AI agent in the description. So you guys don't even have to do anything. But yeah, this generates the prompt. You can just copy it and go back to your AI agent, paste it right there. The cool thing about it, it follows all the best practices for prompting an AI voice agent. So the best practices are 
the prompt should be in markdown language because it is easier for LLM model to understand markdown language. Second thing, so it generates the prompt in priority order. Like what is the most important thing in the prompt that is necessary for the prompt to actually work, right? So mission or the goal, then the role, then dynamic variables, then the skills, then the rules, then steps. So this is very important step-by-step -step explanation, like what you need to do. And at the end, we give an example. So if you are familiar with any type of prompting, you know, LLM model works very well if you give them examples. So I just wanted to show you that, but now we will actually go into the AI agent that we are actually using inside of our agency. So this is the one right now you can play with the prompt. However you like, you can just click here on test and talk to it and see if you like it. The one thing I will tell you to add is this end call function. So you will click on add and click on end call and you will just save it. And then you will copy this function right here. And wherever it makes sense to end the call, you will call that function. So right here, I wrote call and call function. So this tells the AI agent that you have to hang up the call when you reach this line. So that's the thing again in the example, I have mentioned the function so that the AI agent can actually hang up the phone call. Uh, for the rest, you don't have to worry because this is an outbound phone agent. Uh, page base again, it's pretty self-explanatory. You will click on add and it will show you how you can add this. And for the rest, you don't even have to worry about as, as of now. Now let's actually start building the go high level workflow. So for this, uh, you will actually come into your go high level CRM, click on automations and you will click on create a new workflow right here. And then I'm going to show you how you will create the workflow. So I'm going to open all these actions and you will see how they are. This is not going to be a go high level video, how to navigate through go high level. I'm just assuming you guys know how to use go high level. So I'm not going to get into the details of using go high level. So this is how the workflow looks like. I'm assuming you guys know how to add triggers, how to add actions, how to navigate through workflow inside go high level. So you can add as many trigger as you want. For me, we have two triggers. One is connected to the Facebook lead form. And the second one is connected to the form that's on our website or the funnel. So here, if I open this. Just to show you how I add it. So workflow trigger, you will add the Facebook lead form submitted. Then you will select your Facebook page and you will select the form. I'm assuming you know how to connect your Facebook account to your go high level CRM. Then again, you can add as many uh, triggers as you want. The second thing you need to add is a create contact action. So I'll just open this. So just click on add and search for create or update contact. And then I'll link the first name to contact first name, email to contact email, phone number to contact phone number. And then the condition again, this is optional to add because we run two types of ad, which is one Facebook lead form. So people directly submit their information inside Facebook. They don't have to leave the Facebook platform. And the second type of ad that we run is funnel ad on which people basically click on your ad and they go to a funnel or a landing page and there they submit their information after watching a VSL or stuff like that. So that's why we have this condition right here to divide both the leads into two separate parts so that we can understand like from where most of our leads are coming from and what's the quality of the leads and so on and so forth. Then I just basically notify myself that someone submitted the form via lead form. And then I just send an email to myself with their information. Then I tag them that FP lead form submitted. So to just track if they submitted the form inside of the funnel or they submitted the form inside of Facebook. And then I just add them to an opportunities. If you don't know what opportunities are, you will come to your go high level dashboard. Here we'll click on opportunities. And this is how the opportunities looks like. If you have them inside your workflow, then you can have your AI voice agent do certain things that can just move these contacts inside the opportunities automatically. So to create opportunities, you just click on pipeline, create new pipeline. And then here you will create pipeline to show an example. This is how mine is now back to our workflow. Then I just connect Facebook's API to send some data to Facebook and then it's a wait time. So yeah, after the wait time, I just tag them again that I'm doing the first follow-up call. And then this is the important thing. So for this, I'm just going to create it from scratch. And this is what we are going to use to trigger the AI phone agent inside of retail to make the phone call using the data of lead inside of go high level. I hope that makes sense. But the way you add this is click on add search up this webhook. Just open that leave everything as it is for URL. You will go back to your retail account here. You will click on help center and this something like this will open up and you will go to API references. You will click on create phone call. And here you will just copy this right here, the URL post URL and go back here and post it right there. Here you will select bearer token and here you will enter your API key from retail AI. So go back to your retail AI account, click on API keys. And here you will just copy this. I'm not going to paste it in front of you guys, but you get the point. 
Now for this, I will provide the code below and the code would look something like this. In override agent ID, you will go back to your retail account and here where it says agent, you will copy this right here. Go back and paste it right there. For phone number, again, retail account. Click on phone numbers. Here you can just buy a phone number or link your Tulio phone number directly inside your retail. I'll just use the retail phone number. Again, this ID right here will come right here and paste it. So for dynamic variable, the possibilities are endless. You can just send all sorts of data to your retail AI agent. But for the sake of simplicity, we are just going to use user name and email. So here just type contact name and then contact email. That's it. I really forgot here you will add the contact number. This is the most important thing. If you don't have a phone number, you won't be able to make phone calls. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Now you will just save this action. Now I will show you the rest of the workflow so you can have an understanding how this workflow is. It's basically the same workflow duplicated multiple times. So after the call, we wait five minutes and then we email them and SMS them. Then we wait for a complete day and then again, we tag them. Then we are about to make the second follow-up call and then we call them. And at any point of time in this entire workflow, they pick up the phone call or they book an appointment. We completely remove them from this workflow and some other workflows as well. It's a bit more complex and advanced tutorial. I won't be able to cover it in this short 10, 15 minutes video, but yeah, I'm just about to show you the entire workflow so you can see, and you can add all these actions yourself. I have already shown you an example for each action. So third call, fourth call, fifth, and again, SMS, email and stuff like that. And we, I think follow up with the leads for 21 days and we call them 15 times. So here, yep. Um, follow up call. After that, we just put them into a nurture sequence. Now the workflow is completely done. Only thing remains is to test it. You can see like how excited I am. Before that, I need to just mention two things. Here, I just duplicated this entire workflow and copied it right here because this workflow filters out whether they have submitted the form or not. So if I test it from right inside of this workflow, it will just filter out it as none and then the workflow will not run on that particular contact. So that's the first thing. And the second thing quickly, where I showed you how you can create a custom webhook, right? Open that. You will scroll down right here at this section and before contact.phone, you will just add one. So like this, exactly like this, add a one and yeah, just basically save it once again. After saving it, your workflow is ready and you are good to go. If you have created all the custom webhooks for all the follow-ups, make sure you go inside there and make this change for each and every one of them. I'm sorry if you have already created, but yeah, just click on test workflow and basically I will add the contact and the phone number of that contact is basically the phone number of this go high level. So I will directly receive the phone call right here so I can show you guys. So, so just run the test. And after the two minutes of wait time, I should receive the phone call right here on my go high level. So as you can see, it has added me to the two minute wait time after following all the steps. And after two minutes, it will call me. So I'll just skip to that part. There you go, the phone call. Hello. I noticed you clicked on our ad for the AI gym management framework and provided your details. I wanted to follow up and confirm if you have gotten access to the framework video yet. Mm -hmm. who, who am I speaking with, by the way? Hi there. This is Jason from Origin X AI. I wanted to follow up regarding the AI oh. gym management framework video. Have mm -hmm. you had a chance to access it yet? Uh, no. Oh, I'm going to watch it later on. No problem. Would you like me to send the link again so you can check it out when you're ready? Ah, uh, no, no, it would be cool. I have it. I'll just check in my time. Uh, to be honest, I'm pretty busy right now. I have to go, but I will definitely check it. And maybe you can give me a follow-up call or if I have time, I will just follow up with you. I completely understand. Managing a gym is a full-time job. How about we schedule a quick 15 minute consultation to see if this is a good fit? Um, I can send you a booking link and you can yeah, see not the time right that now. works best please, for you. Yeah, please write right now. I'll just no give me some time. Yeah. Worries at all. Take your time to review the video and feel free to reach out whenever you're ready. We're here to help whenever you need it. Thanks for your time today and have a great day. As you saw that AI agent was pretty decent and it just tried to book an appointment with me, but yeah, unfortunately we didn't book an appointment. Now the AI agent will keep following up with me until I book an appointment or I just say I'm not interested at all. So that's how the workflow is structured and I hope you guys enjoy it. And for more stuff, check out my school community. And with that said, wait for the next one.